There is an interesting proposal now at the state legislature. People convicted of abusing an animal would be barred from owning their own pet. And they may also have to get mental health treatment. Our political specialist, Sean Boy, joins us from the Capitol tonight. And Sean, identifying these abusers is key. And Karen, not everyone who hurts animals goes on to hurt people, but it is well established that some of the most violent criminals have histories of animal abuse, which is why a state lawmaker says animal cruelty cases should be seen as warning signs and opportunities for intervention. From a killer at Planned Parenthood in Colorado Springs to a teenage girl who plotted a Columbine-style attack in Highlands Ranch, violent offenders with histories of animal cruelty are not unusual. There is a link. It is strong, and it's something that we can take action on and, and, and prevent violence in the future. Representative Alex Valdez says 43 percent of school shooters, including the one in Broward County, Florida, have a history of animal cruelty. The FBI has also identified animal cruelty as a warning sign for terrorists, and yet many offenders aren't flagged until it's too late. Valdez has introduced a bill to change that. It would encourage judges hearing animal cruelty cases to mandate anger management or mental health treatment as part of the sentence. As much as it is an animal bill, it is, it is more a bill about preventing violence against people. The bill also bars anyone convicted of animal cruelty from owning an animal. Five years for a misdemeanor conviction, ten years for a felony. Valdez says the connection between domestic violence and animal abuse is especially strong. The family member who's being abused won't leave because they don't want to leave their animals with the abuser. And there's just so many ripple effects. When you look at the bill in its totality, the best part of it is that we're going to try and help the people who are exhibiting these behaviors, try and get them the help that they need to not become um, more violent in the future. And it is difficult to predict when animal cruelty will escalate, which is why Valdez says you should take all of it seriously. In New Jersey, for example, a couple called police to report that their son had stabbed the family dog. When police came to investigate, they found a bomb. Valdez's bill will get its first hearing in committee on Thursday, and among those who will be testifying in support of it is Colorado's first gentleman, Marlon Reese. Live at the Capitol, Sean Boyd covering Colorado First.